Hi, I'm Maggie from Shirty and today I'll show you how to create a warehouse product in the dashboard. In the dashboard you click on Warehouse and then on Add new warehouse product. First enter in which of your connected store you want to offer the warehouse product. I have both a Shopify and a WooCommerce connection, but I only want to offer the warehouse product in the Shopify store. If I had more than one Shopify store, I could now select the specific store, but I don't have one. Now enter a name for the product and the retail price. Here enter size and weight. Now you have to upload a picture via select media. If your product has several variations, for example, several colors, you can specify this in the section below. To do so, simply click here and specify each variation. You can also specify several variations at once. If you now enter two sizes and two colors, all possible combinations will be created automatically. The variations also need a picture to complete the process. If you select several variations, you can delete them at once or delete all images at once. Add the product now. The warehouse request is now sent to us. We will check if we can store your product. Some goods are not permitted, such as food, weapon or too big or too expensive goods. But I think this is okay here. As soon as the product is approved, the status will change from pending to approved. In the inventory you can now select the approved products and add them to a shipment via Add Shipment. Confirm your shipment and enter the number of products. Now a PDF file will be downloaded automatically, which you need to add to the shipment. The barcode helps us to allocate your goods correctly and store them without any doubts. If the download does not start automatically, you can download the PDF file via shipment and the PDF symbol manually. Now send the goods to us. As soon as your shipment has arrived, we will check the goods for damage and the quantity. The status will change from in transit to in stock and you will see the available quantity. You can now track your stock at any time in real time. Now set up a stock alert. If your stock is approaching a critical limit, you will be informed via mail and can replenish your stock in time. Go to settings, set a limit, enter an email address and a notification interval. 